Uh, the talk tax. But let me tell the you, the communication service the NDC, tax. And that is what I wanted them to show to us. The NDC never promised to remove the communication service tax. The NDC spoke against it in Parliament. We said that we are not for it. And that is why you will agree with me that for eight years under the NDC rule, we failed to increase the communication service tax. But we failed to down. increase it. We didn't take it down, but we did not promise that we are going to take it down. And I demand evidence that proved that a senior NDC person or a manifesto in NDC had said that we are going to remove communication I say services. that it does not exist at all. Let them tell us where not, in our not, manifesto. Not even for our president. Let no. them tell us. Because I've gone through the hands that President Mahama or what he did as the then Honorable Mahama was to criticize the communication service tax. And I can tell you so for to what fact, end, when you are criticizing the it, policy, it, what was the it, end You here? criticize a policy mm -hmm. and say that you do not believe in it because it is going to derail the communication sector okay. and it's not going to increase the investment we want to see and it's going to deter people from, I mean, ensure going into the communication system. That doesn't mean that you have promised